The situation at the moment is that uh, shelling has resumed this morning, and the early hours this morning, uh, the, the turn. Turkish military launched their first attacks on Syria yesterday evening. Uh, there was a lull uh, later on while NATO uh, met to discuss the crisis. And then there was more shelling from the early hours of this morning, uh, aimed from this border town at Chakale, uh, which was the place where the five Turkish civilians uh, died in the uh, Syrian shelling incident yesterday morning. The uh, target of this attack is uh, the town of Tal Abiyad, which is the Syrian side of the border. And just outside that town, there's a military base. Uh, and that's where the uh, initial attack was presumed to have come from, and that's the uh, one that's been struck in retaliation. Uh, a number of Syrian soldiers are dead, we are told, uh, not confirmed yet by the Syrian authorities. Uh, and also not confirmed yet is what the Syrian authorities intend to do in response. Uh, Turkey has been pushing for a, a Western-backed safe zone for refugees in northern Syria, uh, partly to prevent this sort of incident happening. Uh, with you know, Syrian forces uh, straying over the border in their attacks on, on, on the rebels. Um, the Western powers are very reluctant to get involved. They think a, a safe zone involves a, a no-fly zone, a considerable military operation that there's really no will for in, uh, in, in much of the rest of NATO uh, and uh, might even be illegal without a Security Council uh, resolution, which they would find difficult to get. The question is, what is the Turkish plan here? Now, they say that they have no desire for a war with Syria, so it could just be a warning. Uh, they could, uh, you know, hold off now, see what the Syrian government does next, see if it pulls back. Uh, I think there's a general Turkish strategy of, sort of ratcheting up the pressure slowly on the Assad regime, making it feel more and more isolated, making it feel that it has nowhere left to turn. Uh, clearly, if there's a strong military response from Turkey to incidents that happen near or on the border, that's going to make life difficult for the Syrian uh, regime because uh, the, 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 the more... You know, restrained it feels in striking back against the rebels, the more power the rebels have. Such little uh, desire for involvement in this Syrian war from the point of view of uh, Europe and uh, America, I think. That I think uh, the Western powers, I think, feel that Syria is, is firstly too messy to get involved with. Uh, the, the Assad regime is still too dangerous. But on the other hand, sort of quixotically, perhaps, uh, the Assad regime is also, you know, perhaps on the way out anyway. Um, the, the rebels are eating away at the regime's base. If anything, the rebels are uh, exerting a stronger hold there. Damascus, parts of Damascus are slipping out of the regime's grip. Uh, the numbers of regime soldiers dying is escalating really quite dramatically. I think the Western powers think just you know, leave them get on with it. Um, you know, maybe prepare some sort of intervention force for when it's uh, nearing an end point that uh, they can perhaps stabilize the situation. Uh, I think Russia and Iran are also very worried about what's going on in Iran and are also counting the cost of their support for Assad. Uh, so I can't at this stage seeing it escalating out of control. But, uh, you know, famous last words.